Welcome back to Remote Sensing Applications using ArcGIS. This is our final session for LiDAR applications, and in this session, we'll map forest canopy closer percentage. So as an example, this area should be 0% forest canopy closure. This area might be 75% canopy closure. And this area with some gaps between the crowns of the trees might be 50% canopy closure. So the first thing we'll do is we'll start with our canopy raster. So in the uplands we have for each one meter pixel, the canopy elevation ranging from near zero to a high of about 37.58 meters of canopy height. So what we'll do is we'll basically say, okay, it's a forested canopy height if that canopy value is above three meters. And then we'll use the con tool to turn all those forested pixels into a value of one. So the question is, is the canopy height above three meters? And if it is, we'll give it a one. If it's not, we'll give it a value of zero. And then we'll store that in this Uplands Forest Canopy Raster. And then we'll adjust the symbology. So unique values, and let's give zero no color and one some forest color. So basically every one meter pixel is either a forest pixel or a zero for a canopy height less than three meters. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll use the block statistics geoprocessing tool and we'll basically make a block that's 10 meters wide, 10 meters high, so there'll be 100 pixels inside every block. And then we'll just add up how many forest canopy pixels are within that 100 pixel block. So our neighborhood is a rectangle and it's basically 10 pixels high, 10 pixels wide, so it'll be 100 total pixels in each block. And then we'll add up all those ones and zeros within those 100 pixels. And the output raster we'll call forestcanopyclosure.tiff and then just OK. So here's our original forest canopy in the uplands raster where a zero represents a pixel that had a canopy height less than three meters. A one, the green color, would be canopy height above three meters. And here's the result from the block statistics. So now we've got not one meter cells, but 10 meter by 10 meter cells. So there's 100 pixels from our original forest canopy inside every forest canopy closure cell. And then we could adjust the symbology for our forest canopy closure. So let's classify it. And we'll classify it into five classes. And we'll give it a defined interval of 20. And then we'll give it some color ramp. And then just zoom to layer. So there we have, for the tannin on uplands, forest canopy closure. So this would be 0 to 20%. So this area would be 80 to 100% canopy closure. And we could use the identify tool to look at the actual canopy closure for any 10 meter pixel. So for example, the Parks Highway is 0% canopy closure. Here's a dense Aspen stand. It's 84%, 90% canopy closure. Here's a white spruce stand that has gaps, so it's 83% canopy closure, 68% canopy closure, 69% canopy closure. Here's a younger uh, white spruce area, 54% canopy closure, 58% canopy closure. Okay, so then you would do the exact same steps in the Tanana River study area. And then if you go to the Blackboard website, I have the final quiz questions for you on our LiDAR applications.